fucking shaving all the no, time. Yeah. Always sweaty with her fucking mouth ajar, banging a chick while she screams. <laughs> okay, now here's the thing. Yeah. I do like to watch hardcore gangbang porn. I do. But what's very important to me is that it is clear that the woman is enjoying it. Yeah, that, that was at any point that. in time. If I feel like she clearly, if it feels awkward or bizarre, even yeah. if it's acted, I can only. I don't want to see that. I can only turn off the porn where the girls are clearly enjoying absolutely it. having a good time. I, yeah. I, I, I always have I'll trouble that. watching yeah. this. I always, I always get like second hit stage fright. Like, oh man, I can never fuck in front of like like a cop. You know what I mean? I know guys who like put, put on porn specifically to see the girl like not have a good time. Oh god, I, I can't oh, even. It's masochistic. Yeah. No, I, I know it's, it's weird. No, but some people are into it, but. It's I think those like, are people that, yes, yeah. I think the porn you watch is very reflective of, like, who you are, how you feel about the opposite sex, yeah. and yeah. your own sex, even. Yeah. All I want is to throw And to be fair, it's not just gangbangs. Orgies work, too. Yeah. Like, if there's, like, a whole bunch of people, and everyone's fucking, and everyone's having a good time, <laughs> that works for me, if I everyone's like, having a good time. I like the videos with the soft candlelight and the Christian music. <laughs> no, you don't. A couple laid down, slow motion of light. Because if there's, like, the out-of-focus, no, like, no. candle in the foreground, there's a past statue of Jesus Christ staring down. <laughs> no, dude, I, have you guys have you guys noticed this terrifying trend of like voices coming at the end of porn videos now? No. I was it voices? scared the fuck up out of me. I was watching a video and I finished and I heard a guy I heard a loud German guy go, go to this one for something. I was, I was he, dude, it was as I was finishing, so he's like, go to this website, but it, it was added post. It wasn't that in the video. <laughs> so I thought somebody was like talking to my door or something. I was for a while coming at the time. time. Yeah, I thought it was like Chris <laughs> talking to my door or something. I was like, huh? Oh. Did, did you like ejaculation go back? Did you like suck it back? Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> <it> was like <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I always feel really weird at the beginning of some porns. There's always a girl on the couch with a laptop. She looks at the camera. She's like, "Oh yeah, visit fucking sluts.com for sexy bitches." Yeah, okay, what the? You know, like videos are you watching? I've normal never porn. That yeah. shit happens. I watch pretty it's, normal it's porn. It's a free ad. It's a pre roll ad that they kind of add. But these I, admit, like, I actually I pay for my porn now. Yeah, really? Well, like yeah. I just I found a oh, site that I really like, yeah. and it's got a ridiculous amount of high quality videos. And like, huh. I, like give it a shout out for what, fuck's sake. Yeah. What? I like it's called Evil Angel. Angel.com. Oh, Evil Angel's great! I yeah. really like it. It's awesome. But they put yeah. a lot of the, I discovered them because of free porn and I saw one of their ads. Yeah. I kept seeing their ads and videos I liked. Did the Evil Angel and crew or was it Brazzers that did the pirate movie one? <laughs> I'm not sure. That was Brazzers. I think it might have been Brazzers. Oh, you know what it was? Because they had, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Aisha, the Japanese girl, Aisha Asa Akira. Akira. Yeah, Asa Akira. And she's definitely oh, Brazzers. She's so hot. But they Brazzers did, uh, was, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the Pirates movie was like a big thing. It was hot. Yeah. I saw some of the scenes. It was <laughs> you I saw the Avatar one. You've seen that? No. That was I one. wanted to see the Avatar one. The Avatar one was really well made. Except yeah, they had great costumes. Dude, the production boring, boring, yeah. yeah. Did, you ever, did you ever see the Spongebob one? No. It is the funniest thing ever. It's a guy in Spongebob soup. He has his face painted yellow. And he has like, and there's, a girl, there's a girl, Sandy the squirrel. She sucks him up. And he's like, ah! <laughs> he's been cut up for the entire time. Have you seen the Homer Simpson one? He doesn't yes. really get... He's like, mm, he does, he does so a super good Simpson. He's yeah. like, bro, it's so bad. Yeah. It's like, whoa, dude. And the finals comes in. Oh. It's creepy as fuck. Yeah. No, but the, the, it, the fucking Avatar one's really funny because you know they're blue aliens. Yeah. They start like sucking their dicks and then the paint starts like fl- slopping off on their yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. Like, they got like big pink wieners. But then <laughs> oh, the fucking no. the, the bad guy Colonel comes in and he's got the saggiest ball sack ever because he's like an old man. <laughs> he's really buff and like good looking for an old man, but he's like his ball sack sagging into his knees. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen the uh, the Wonder Woman porn? No. no. Is it good? Well, the thing is, like, I remember a friend of mine told me about this, but the Wonder Woman, there's like a Wonder Woman show and then the Wonder Woman porno. And the Wonder Woman porn has the worst fucking costume, while the porno has like you, the most amazing. Yeah. Fucking who's the, who's the actress? Was that, that, was that, was that the one where the porn star looked yeah, like Katy Perry or something? What? She, the, the woman who plays her kind of looks a little bit like Katy Perry. I'm, oh, in the porno? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. You ever, I've seen, the, I've you ever seen the Sarah Taylor one that came out? No. I heard about the Back to the Future one though with the Indian dude. Dude! Chris like about the, yeah, there's a Back to the Future one and Marty is like Oh he's like a, a little Indian, Indian dude. like from yeah. India or yeah, Indian. Yeah, 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 or no, no, he's like no he's like an Indian like from yeah, India. Yeah, he's like, Marty, we gotta go back. He's like, what you're talking about? <laughs> back to the future. He's like, I don't want to. I have disappeared from the photograph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like this he's like nothing like Marty, he's this tiny, skinny, like petite Af- or Indian they, dude. They literally felt the exact opposite yeah. <laughs> Doc Brown was alright. He was wow. just a dude in a wig, but he looked better than fucking this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God What's damn. the funniest porno parody that you've ever seen? That fucking the thing where they put the uh, 
They they drew the like when they're humping and it's a pinball machine or like the girls jacking them off and it's maracas. I, I um, oh yeah, was good. Oh, 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 oh yeah, the uh, yeah. censored porn. Yeah, the censored porn. The censored yeah. porn. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I'll take a girl in the corner, cop. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's pretty awesome, man. Yeah. I saw that one. That was great. <laughs> Funny. That was a classic, internet classic. You know, a classic for you folks out there. All right. Well, now that I'm thoroughly fucking hard and yeah, I was uh, about to say at the end of this podcast, everyone's gonna jerk off. Everyone's gonna jerk off. Listener, don't do it. Alright, Zach, you gonna play us out? This is the podcast! This is the podcast! Thank you for listening! Say goodbye to Tobar Jackson! Give us a lot of words! There's a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin... There's a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshit. Hello there, I'm Shadman, the social disease attacking family value and church dynamics <laughs> till nothing Nothing sacred is left. <laughs> that was not scripted. <laughs> that was, that was I'm here much. with Chris O'Neill. Hello. AKA Oni. Yep. Basket <laughs> in 3D. Also known as Corey. <laughs> and of course, Psychic Pebbles. Hi you guys, I gotta do Minecraft, Minecraft, I gotta do Minecraft in a corner next oh month. God. It's gonna be great. And my favorite. Rice Pirate. Yes. Yes. Hello, Shad. Welcome. Thank you for that, being oh, with Shad, us today. That, oh, you know what? You know what my favorite part about you being on here now? What? Um, the next hundred questions asking when there's going to be a second episode. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that second voice you heard was that of Shadman, as he told you. You can find him at uh, shadbase.com. You know, I, I feel like it's important yeah, to end up debauchery, violent, yeah. and sin. Go there. Yeah. He, he has, he's like, he has like a good, like, all lots of kind of Bible jokes and stuff. It's great. You'll love yeah. it. Yeah. I think it's important to note that this is the real Shadman. I, I think there's a lot of people who, because of all of the conspiracies and the mystery that veils the Shadman name, some people may think that, that you may not be the real Shadman. That no, somebody no, could just be... I've given up that voice no, of Timothy because yeah. of you guys. Because, like, it's just been difficult trying to avoid, like, my yeah. voice being on anything. Like, like when you stream or something? Yeah, yeah. I've actually yeah, exactly. been streaming, like, pretty regularly. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. least this month, we probably streamed about two times, maybe? We, yeah, yeah. We, uh, yeah, but even like, despite the streams, despite the fact that they've heard you on your streams and even on some of, like, the game streams I did yeah. or, like, whatever, I still got a tweet asking about whether or not you were a girl. Really? No, no, I, yep. I still get keep people asking that, that they think you're this hot, like sixteen well, year old girl. He is, as girl. you can see. Oh, yes. No, you look like yeah, a hot sixteen yeah, year old girl, but you're not. You can see his double D titties right about the <laughs> It's been a be joke screen. because, like, in the whole like uh, kind of hentai scene and stuff, a lot of artists who are girls, like, they just completely abuse that and like just post pictures of <laughs> oh, themselves yeah, yeah, like that I'm a girl yeah. and just do they yeah, artist yeah. girls show off yeah the they show off the fact well, that they're like they draw themselves or they and, show, and they draw themselves or they show well. photos of themselves Both. they draw themselves Both. as oh. their original characters but in real life they're like these like autistic like fans <laughs> like, like you fuck off you cunts like you know like, I, I'm, I'm a guy and I can be a guy in a hentai artist right but I, I, I do can. think it's interesting though I do feel like guy artists to girl artists they I, Girl artists who draw themselves a lot. I I can't. I honestly can't remember the last time I had to draw. I drew myself, unless it was for like something, like a like a picture or something. I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, how, how many times? How often do you say you draw yourself? Seriously. I don't like drawing myself. How often do you think you do it though? Realistically. Never. Exactly. That's weird to me. That's that there's not, that big difference. Realistic, yeah. Because when I draw myself, I usually keep the key factors. Because like, there's also the the heavy weight. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like face, there's a weird thing where it's like I, either 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 I make myself super unattractive and I'm really mean to myself and people draw me like that forever and I feel worse about myself, <laughs> or, or I just draw myself right down the middle, like not attractive but not bad looking. But the people are like you kind of yeah, Disney yourself. You. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, it's if, like if, if you're a big fat guy, you just draw up kind of a bloated guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but then, but then yeah. the thing is, when people see, they're like, oh, because you know there are there's artists out there who draw themselves. My favorite, my, skinny, but they're sorry, big sorry. whales. It's like my favorite part is when you know someone's like. Let's say 300 pounds overweight, and they draw themselves as like an action hero that has a little bit of a baby gun. Well, yeah, it's a guy got a little bit. Got but he's like, when you see him in real life, you can like see his skinny face hiding in his fat. It's just like, you ever see that? 
Yeah. Remember, remember when you just want to take a fat guy and just that, rip his fat you know, off? Like, oh, you're a human. When I take, <laughs> when I see a fat person, goodness person, gracious. Wait, you see, that's the kind of that's like the neglectful <laughs> fat where you can like see the skinny person behind the fat. I'm just having a real. That. That's like the meanest thing you've ever said, <laughs> and you brush it off like it was nothing. <laughs> the year he gets skinny and he says that. So you used to be like kind of normal, like averageish, but now that you're skinny, you feel that like fatties should all be put look, down, look, huh? Look, look, yeah. you know what? Always a fatty. I disavow fatties. Listen, fatties, <laughs> go jo- go go walk to your death. No, walk I'm two saying, feet and die. I'm all right? saying if you're if you're like a, be a fat wreck, <laughs> so to say, is. so to say, if you're if you're big or obese, then don't draw yourself as like this like eight pack wearing like. Like, look, strong guy. Like, look, actually, draw yourself. Be honest. Be honest. Yeah. I think this is a good tip for your life. If you undersell yourself completely, if you like, if you're way crueler to yourself and expect the worst, if you're kind of fat, you're like, I'm gonna draw myself like a big obese fucking slug Just of a man. This mountain of a Yeah, then yeah, the people, and there's only going up a bit. If you start well, at the bottom of the, the barrel, most part, whenever we draw up. ourselves, for the most part, I feel like we draw ourselves extremely grotesque. Like, if, if we do it. Because it's accurate. It's true. Yeah, it's accurate. Yeah, it's we're all hideous. Well, people draw us really nice with, like, really. Yeah. cut faces yeah. I'm drawing myself with the strict know. details of all the nasty zits I grew that day I'm like yeah, yeah, like, yeah you people, fucking 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 people know their own flaws the best too that's, yeah, that's true. true. Have yeah. you seen Chris's uh, drawing of himself when he gets out of the shower? <laughs> <laughs> that's how he feels. <laughs> he has like big Negro lips. <laughs> Jesus. Just so you know, Shad's allowed to say that. He's, yeah. He has a pass. He's he's Afro he's Afro American folks. Yeah. Have you, by the way, you're barely, you're you're barely passable. You're barely. Really. You're, 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 like, like, you're like half of Will Smith black. Yeah, Shad, Shad was born in the heart of Africa. Can I say, by the way, I love, I love I that word. I came over on a banana boat. <laughs> <laughs> Along with Donkey bananas. Kong. Shad, have you, ever, fucking barrel. have you ever heard somebody using that word like, really, like seriously, like, like, uh, not, not ironically, the word Negro in the year 2015? Yeah, so, yeah. We were at an art store today and I saw paint that was called Negro. That's the what? Chris. That's the Spanish word, you fucking. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So lots of people still say it, especially artists. I, there's a video I love of Ronald Reagan in the '80s where he was like, "Look at all you fight Negroes." I was like, "What? It's like 1988. You can't say that." In the fucking '60s. But that's the thing. They're, they're saying the he was Spanish word for black. Like 1911, though, so he's kinda... saying the Spanish word for black. What's the difference? I would say it's it... weird. Apparently, to my, I heard this. I don't know if this is true. I think I said it on the podcast before, but. Apparently the word black and negro switched the defensiveness. Yeah. So apparently the word black used to be more offensive. Really? And then so they switched. That's what I know. Maybe I'm a retard. You can correct me and call me a fucking idiot with a brain disorder. White people should be called pink people. Yeah. yeah. That's who we are. Or like, or like orange pink. people. Or like Just beige people. Just fucking translucent, veiny fucking... You know, okay, so talking, hold on, talking about drawing yourself, like, you know, and now some people draw themselves and, like, uh, flatter themselves. Yeah. 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 In that vein, have you guys ever noticed, like, so, look, I I have no problem with the shape of your body Uh or the look of your face. Everyone is is wonderful and perfect in my eyes. Coming Uh, from the buff, handsome guy. Shut up. I I, I mean this. I mean this. But it does weird me out when I see someone cosplay a character... That is usually, like, for example, if someone does, like, Aang from Avatar. What you're and saying? And they're, like, okay, a 40 year old obese really person. Why are you dressed as Aang? Like, that, listen, the funniest one's comes to the point where cool. you just proud with your body. <laughs> and, you, and you know that you look like a disgusting Aang, but you're going out there to show off Dude, your, fucking, out there. What, what, your fucking waterbending powers. And you go out there. Or the opposite. People. Or the opposite. If there's, like, a big, huge character and then some skinny ass you're just they, they just, I, I think it's just I, like the character. The character okay. like. It's nothing to do with actually trying to look like any of these characters. Some people do yeah. that, but like yeah, that, no, and that was Chris and I spotted. Like Chris and I spotted a guy who was no younger than fifty who was playing Ash Ketchum, and I was like, not even close. <laughs> a big dumpy old man waddling like a goblin <laughs> down, down the hall, mocking him. I saw. I saw Ash Ketchum shrinking like a ghoul. I saw a pro. Uh, just a big unfortunate human being. I saw a pro. Uh, Black Goku cosplayer. He actually looked okay. legit like Goku. Yeah, he was pretty ripped too, and he had Go- like Goku powered up to it. She got burned, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it, it looked like he spent a little I too much time. I'm sorry, I told my viewers. No, you know they we're understand. Talking, you know we're talking <laughs> they heard about. It. They saw it coming. You know we're talking about like like different color people and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it'd be easier if we just literally call people literally the exact color that they are? No. No, because yeah. then you do that for the most part. It's like black. There'd be literally no racism. <laughs> it's, look, like look at that orange though, brown it, guy. Is it is it weird though that we kind of stop <laughs> with black and white? That's what I'm saying. That's like what I'm you saying. never, you would never be like, oh yeah, the guy was yellow. You would never say that. Like ever. That brownish yellow man ran that way. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, 
that that was, that's swap ass yoga. Thank you, orange just black man. <laughs> the problem is that some people have like are a bit colorblind. They see that's they yeah, see different colors. colors. Yeah, they're like they're like that red green guy went that way. It's you like, be like, hey yo, did you see that orange just brown guy? You're like, wait, you mean you mean that that tan kind of orange guy? No, 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 no. He was like kind of like you know brownish, kind of like like a like a tree brown. Oh wait, wait, wait you mean like <laughs> that's kind of like a reddish color? Guy. Yeah, it's gotta be like easier to say. I try to tell you that. And even even if even if you broke people down into like very specific color groups mm -hmm. like yellowish orange I guarantee what you'd really be doing is just creating more factions oh, of you're people. Just you're just you wouldn't be creating more. like yeah it, it, there would be more racism because it would be like the orange is yellow people feel like they're being like uh, they're being uh, prejudiced against by the, the, the fucking the, greenish brown people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the slightly whiter black guys will be feel yeah, better yeah. off. It'll, it'll be like next level segregation. Yeah, yeah. just giving them more. Look, more the, ammo. We're, yeah, we're, we're going to cause the race war. More water fast. Between the, the donkeys and the, and the <laughs> it looks sixteen. What? Okay, hold on, Chris. What color would you be? Um, pink. You I'm pink. pink? Yeah. I don't no, know. See, I don't even give you pink. No, what would I, would I be? Okay, I'd be whitish, grayish, pink. Okay, yeah. I like, I like a look of leukemia yellow color. A what? A leukemia yellow. Are they yellow? Yeah, yeah. Like phlegm, phlegm yeah, yellow? Like I've been dead for like about an hour. Like I'm not quite in rigor mortis, but I'm just kind of dying. <laughs> been dead for a good amount. Corey, you're, the, you're like a like a pinkish. You're like a. <laughs> you pink I was thinking dried peach. I'd say blushing peach. Blushing. Oh, you're a blushing boy. You know that? Yeah. Shad, Shad is like. Uh, beige. Maroon. Ashy, ashy beige. <laughs> What are you? You do yourself. Yellow. Bro. Oh, yeah. yellow, yellow. <laughs> Fucking piss yellow. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like you. You drank too much alcohol. You ate hot wings and you didn't drink any water. So you're for like a week. Yellow. I'm like kind of like very yellow, orange, yellow. Yeah. I wonder are there any slightly green people? There are. Like who? Turtles. <laughs> oh yeah. I never knew that a turtle is a slightly green person. <laughs> of course, they're slightly brown. Corey, would you be scared if you if you turn into a turtle? What would you do? A teenage mutant ninja. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. exactly. But, like, Corey, just would you turtle. learn kung fu? Corey, you'd be useless. You'd just be able to draw, but you'd <laughs> yeah. be a turtle. Yeah, but I know I'd run into that fucking hot chick in the yellow suit. April. Yeah, eventually. I'll just pose as a turtle. I'll be the blue turtle. I'll knock. You'd make a good turtle. Because if you were at a party, I'll be the teal turtle. If you were at a party and you wanted to go home, you could just go in your shell. <laughs> hey Chris, yeah. if you fuck yeah, April O'Neil, April O'Neil, yeah, that's her anything. name. Yeah, no. I know. If, if you married her, she I wouldn't have to change her name. I used to have a huge crush on her. Did you really? See, I want to say something. When I was a Ninja Turtle, mm. if I was a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I would have a white band with a corn stripe. If you were to always push on your back and you fucking die there, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Kung Fu and Tubular and all these other crazy you learn Kung Fu, you become a turtle club? You know, if they flip you, you on your back, Kung you'd just die. I die. You wouldn't be able to get back up. No, when I'm on my back, I do that spinny, like, stand-up move. Mm. Like Bowser? Mm. Mm. <laughs> like Bowser. Super Smash Bros. is not a fucking documentary, Corey. I hate to be, hate to be the better bad news. What are you talking about? If you get on your shell, you rock back and forth. If somebody hits you, you'd spin around. If I got my legs down there and did, did a side kick, I could, I could turtle spin okay, right now. Okay, so wait, Corey's a turtle. What are you, Mick? Um, what would you be? Yeah. Why would it be a turtle? What in the, the animal kingdom. In the, in the animal kingdom? Why are you talking about I'd animals? I'd probably be like a... Like I'm a, a rhino like turtle a then! Like, like an orangutan. Like you, you, you'd be an orangutan? Like, orang a, like orangutan. I want to say gorilla, but I'm not buff enough. I feel like I'd be kind of like a little dumpy. You I, can, I can imagine you'd be like a cute little snake. In the, snake you guys snake. Have, you remember Planet of the Apes? Be a cute yeah. You remember that big thing that was really... He was nice, but his face looks like really smashed in. He has a tiny little bead eyes. He's the really big one that knows math. Is that an orangutan? That's an orangutan. That's an orangutan. I'd be that. Okay. <clears throat> Chris, what would you be? You'd be a weasel. You'd be a, you'd be a fucking I would not be a weasel. <laughs> I'm kidding. Chris, I mean, Chris, you'd be a mosquito. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be a rat? <laughs> oh, Chris, don't fuck with me today. You'd be a scratching, fucking annoying in, Chris, in, a rat. In I reality, would be a, 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 rat. <laughs> a rat knows how to survive. Yeah, Chris, what would you There's be? There's no shame in that. No, you I'd be a mighty away. eagle soaring through the air. <laughs> either I, I, I give you either a a, a big monkey. Or a some kind of feline. Could be a larger, monkey? like a bobcat. Why is this Sasquatch? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be an American bald spot eagle. I'd be a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex. Of course, yeah. Shad would probably. Oh, Shad, what would Shad be? A raptor. He'd be stuck. Yeah, no, I was. I was gonna say Tasmanian panther. Yeah, panther. Right? Is that like a raptor? What's up, being a guest? How's it, what's it? Is it a nice experience? Are you starstruck being here with the? Yeah, what's it like hanging out with the people here on the block? I mean, like I'm. Fortunately, I'm comfortable talking with you guys because I've like known you guys for so long now, and I've lived with you guys, and 
I, I'm just like I don't want to like ruin your podcast comedy or Shed. whatever. That's Shed. why You're I don't want to talk too much. Shed. No, talk. I encourage you to talk more. Talk, talk. We need talk that. your ass off. If you have a story that you would like to say that could take up a good because you have a very interesting life. Let's be honest. You have a very, you have a lot of you, have you a lot do. Of, yeah, you know what? Fuck all of our topics. Let Let's talk a little bit about what you're comfortable talking about in terms of your past. Uh, you know, just so people understand, like some 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 of the stuff that uh, yeah. has kind of been the basis of. I've been like dehumanized a lot because yeah. of like my uh, some of my practices I do online. Sure. Yeah. But uh, we we could go back a, a little and Let's go so back. Can kind of like explain. Yeah. Do you mind talking a little bit about your military experience? Yeah, that's, 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 that's interesting. I don't think people. Will be. Uh, you know, how about really we kind of that. like rewind? Let's, the, rewind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's go, go back to the back. beginning. Let's go back to the beginning. Baby Shad Dan. <laughs> We're gonna no, do not that far. Baby not Shad Dan. The Shad Ling. Basically, I've never properly learned how to draw. So when I was like younger, and I I've, I've looked up like into a bunch of like, graphic design stuff, and I thought like. You know what would be really cool? If I could make video games. Because I loved video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just... What what genres, if you don't want me asking? What, what, I, I, I especially love first-person shooters. But when but you were I, a kid, when you were first playing. For, like, I loved to like, just, like, on the Game Boy, I played, like, all the... My first console was the PlayStation 2. Okay. And I loved, like, Y City. And, like, I just... I, when I discovered video games, I was just fascinated. Dude, yeah. The way Switzerland works with their universities, and their... Like, it's a college and university. Like, they kind of split themselves by universities being more specified fields. For example, game design can be learned in a university there. Okay. Yeah. So a college would be kind of for the every the average Joe kind of guy kind of thing. No, not really. I... I I don't really. I'm not sure. Like, I just know that that was a university. Okay, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm ignorant when it comes to like Switzerland's uh, education. But the way Switzerland works is that uh -huh. if you are educated enough, you can do a test there. It's ca called a Berufsmatura. When you have that, you can do. You can uh, get into university, and the state will pay for most of it. Oh, okay, wow. like a scholarship wow. almost. Huh? Yeah, like they, they just pay for a lot. It's really cheap. Yeah. And I, I didn't have that. I was. Completely undereducated, but sometimes they let people in when they think I see potential in this guy, and they okay. let him in anyway. Yeah. So I had like this brilliant. Uh, I'm quoting. I'm doing air quotes. You know, you can't see it. Yeah. But I'm, I had this idea. Instead of like, but next to making my portfolio, I also have an online portfolio. So I made this website called uh, shadbase.com, and I used it as my online portfolio. Yeah. And I kind of I just put up like some of my work I've done like some of my like amateur like digital paintings and stuff, and some of the projects I've been working on, and I gave, sent them in a portfolio, linking uh, uh, sending them off to my website. Yeah, they have looked into it and thought like you know we'll give you a chance. We usually don't do this, but we'll give you a chance. You're you, after summer you can start. What does give you a chance mean? Like, you, they, they give you like a... It was, it was like, you know what? This like is a free kind of get scholarship. Sort of call. Like, you know, yeah, but for like a year? Like, they only give you... No, no, they, they start but, but I, think, I think it means to say like, they, we're, 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 you're the exception here. You're, yeah, you're real I, they didn't have okay. the education you needed to get in there. So they, take, they actually said, we're taking a risk with you. Okay. Because yeah. they didn't have the education. So don't, so don't, so don't, so don't you know, don't, try Yeah, I didn't have any diplomas, anything. It's okay. Like, we're going to take a risk with you and let you into the university. And I was ecstatic. Like, I was so fucking happy. I thought, like, I'm actually gonna be something in yeah, life. Like, right. I can actually, I'm, I'm not done. I can actually maybe realize my dream. I can make these video games I yeah. love. And I thought, like, I'm finally gonna be able to be swimming with sharks. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about sharks is, most people know they don't have a neck, so they don't look backwards. <laughs> They're fast, vicious yeah. predators, deliberate. That's yeah. what people know. But what they don't know is that sharks, they get sad too. <laughs> and they get, they sharks cry. cry. But you can't but tell. You can't tell because they're the water. water. <laughs> they're the ocean is a sea of shark tears. It renders the colors invisible. <laughs> And down there in the deep, it does get lonely. <laughs> so the sharks cry a lot, and that's why the ocean is salty. <laughs> but anyways, God, a, a poet right here. But it, it's poetry. So you left your shark cave to go <laughs> exploring fish. Anyway, fish. The whole summer went by. I I think I I think I kind of got to know you through there through that. Like yeah, you got to the corn. But I, and I I started to like nine. kind of. I had like kind of started to get the courage to look deep inside like the darkest corners of myself <laughs> yeah. the corners where I never would have seen myself and I like, kind of explore those 
and like see that I have a friend in there. Yeah. yeah. And I kind of to kind of explore that and like do some drawings which were very questionable mor morally. Mm -hmm. And I thought like, hey, I'll just upload them to this portfolio site I made. Oh, yeah. Make like an extra, you make like an extra category and start uploading a little more alternative stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then I started there. And like after summer, I started there. Like I uh, started the classes. We, did, we were going to learn us like just programming and game design and stuff. Yeah. And I get like this weird email. Oh no. And it's like, can you meet us on Friday? <laughs> can you please meet us at this specific address? And I'm like, wait, this address isn't on campus ground. This is like somewhere in Zurich. Like, <laughs> that's okay. a fucking house. It's like, it's like in Zurich, it was like in Zurich, like some weird building. And I was like, okay. This fucking police station. <laughs> I'll I'm, I'm I'm gonna do that and I thought I, I thought to myself hey maybe this is something to do with every student where they just <laughs> oh, you thought they, it, was, you thought it was part of the whole yeah the where they just pick like a, a secret like interview thing to see what what you really want in there because it is a pretty big school was part of you kind of like and you have like a little afraid was part of you like maybe I, it's because of this dude I, 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 I no no not at all I I I I, I, totally, I was jokingly thinking of that like, really so you're I, like ah I, 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 I laughed at the idea that would be ridiculous and. The school week ended Friday. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there. And I was waiting there, and the professor approaches me and says, "Come with me. I'm gonna lead you to the place." And I'm asking like, "What is this about?" I will tell you there. He didn't want to say anything about it. It was like this. The professor was like this bald guy, had no hair and only glasses, like one of those guys. I say, "Okay." <laughs> and I could do this. He, he, we go into like this secluded room where there's these two really old geezers sitting there and another like another one of the professors and I'm like what I can, I'm just starting to think what the fuck is this yeah <laughs> why are all these guys here and then they introduced themselves one of them was criminal psychology and one of them was in the justice department <laughs> oh my god and then god they broke the bomb and said we found some stuff on your website which is highly illegal and we cannot allow you back on the on the campus. Oh well, because you are a menace <laughs> to society. <laughs> what? Really? You said that exactly. Yes. You're a menace yes. to society. They made me sign a thing accepting that, that I you're, you're a menace. You're yes. Sign it. <laughs> you are officially a menace yeah, to you society. Yeah, you are legally you're a menace. <laughs> you know, it was like they they call me like this. That they're like I'm I'm like a, a threat. Street rat. But, but, <laughs> but Street they might, rat. They might tell me that to prove that they're nothing but an agents of treachery themselves. Right. By like denying my right to express myself in my own free time. Yeah. Completely independent. Disconnected from what you from what I do in school. It's not well, also, it, look, it, it, look, if they if they found like a fucking like severed head in your bag or something. Yeah, that would be different. But 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 I mean, you, what people when they see things specifically, and I, I think this is a small tangent, but I like to go on it. Uh, when people see maybe something like your look, they would think this guy's gonna be a psycho or whatever. And it's, it's, I mean, you get that a lot, right? People yes. think, oh god, well, I was terrified to meet I you. I thought you were gonna be a I thought, idiot. Even, <laughs> yeah, I, I met you in 2010 and I, I talked right. to you, I was like, this guy's really nice. But even before I met you in 2000, well, you see, 13 or 14, I see, just, I knew, I knew, because, uh, not to go with like what you said, like, but, me, it, it's weird because actually, me and Shad actually go way back in other terms. Like we go way back. I didn't even know Shad, and he knew me. Like that's how far back we go. And I was kind of in the same boat with Shad, where you know I had done a lot of morally unacceptable things back when, when I did. Yeah, that but this, the stuff. criminal department, the, the criminal different. justice yeah. department, didn't bring I mean, you in to make you sign but, official documents. I, 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 I also wasn't was like, was like, oh yeah, let me go to your campus. The, re and the make reason, got my the, reason the reason, I, the reason I brought up is because I, I think it's a big difference. I. You are the, uh, in the nicest way. You you you're not a harmful person. You would never, like it's 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 art for you. It's disconnected from reality. You know you're not you're not a psycho who would fucking shoot with a theater yeah. or something. When you sneak you're not a weirdo. So 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 like look, 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 if they looked into you and they saw they 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 somehow found something questionable, like they found you were trying to meet with a girl, you know, something like that. I would get it. But it, they're doing their jobs, obviously. But there's also there's also you should you should. They took away your education. Anyway, go to that. My, my point, my yeah, point was that, just that, 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 that the d distinction is very, very obvious, especially with you. Yeah, and what I, I love... I've never felt that you, you, that you would do a negative thing to a person because of your art. 
What I love is that they uh, the way they address it too is like they found yeah. some hidden secret amongst yeah, so you're you like, dude, I it. uploaded this, yes. you asshole. It's a public website that I gave to public the public website. Studio. But the whole thing is also kind of like with my whole appearance and stuff at the time. Like I was a. Uh, I was quite into like heavy metal and stuff, and sure. that also was like for people like those, like kind of like conservative art professors, was a kind of a red flag. Very, very, very. Because of the whole like satanic themes and like the glorif 